Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here. In this video, I'm going to solve the following basic first order linear PDE. Now, this, this presentation is a continuation of my um, series on the transport equation. And in previous videos, I've derived, uh, sorry, I've, in, in previous videos, I've looked at the solution to the transport equation and some, I've done some examples. Now, this particular equation uh, is not like the equations I've looked at before because the coefficient of u sub x du dx is not a constant. Okay, here it's 2x. So how do we solve this, this problem? Well, I'm going to solve it using an application of directional derivatives, which is an idea that you see in uh, vector calculus, a third course in calculus. Um, you can solve this problem using other approaches, but um, I'm just going to use directional derivative. Okay, and the key is to factor the left-hand side into a, an appropriate dot product, then uh, scale it so it is a directional derivative, and you know that the directional derivative will be zero. Hence, you must be a constant at all points in a certain direction. Okay, so the left-hand side can be factored into the following form. Okay, where this is a dot product, so if you expand this out, you'll see that you get this PDE. And this is almost the dot product. Here we have the gradient, or grad, of u. And if this was a unit vector, then we, the, the, the whole thing would be the directional derivative. Now, this isn't necessarily a unit vector, but because I have 0 on the right-hand side, I can multiply through by 1, divided by the length of this, and I'll get um, the following. Okay, so this then is the directional derivative, which is written like this. The hat means a unit vector. So the directional derivative of the solution u in the direction of the vector 2x, 1 is 0 at all points. So that's a big, big step here. Okay. So since the directional derivative of u in the direction of 2x, 1 is equal to 0 at all points, we have that u is a constant along all the curves that are tangential to this vector. So it's, it's similar, it shares a few similarities with the idea from a first course in calculus where if you know a function has a zero derivative everywhere, then the function must be constant. Okay. Okay, so that's that's important. Okay, so how do we compute the equations for these curves? Well, we're talking about tangents, so you'd think a, a derivative would would apply would would come into play, and in fact, it does. These curves satisfy the following. So in the, you say, the xt plane, it's just the ratio of the components of my vector, so 1 over 2x. So if I, you know, I can shift that around and integrate it, okay, so here we have a standard first order ordinary differential equation from uh, calculus or a first course in, in ODEs. The solution to this will be 
an exponential type function. Where k is a constant. And if I isolate the constant, I get the following. Okay, so along each curve, our solution u is constant. So what this means is that the solution to our problem is a function of x times e to the minus 2t, where f is an arbitrary but differentiable function. Okay, so the solution to our problem, or the general solution to our problem, is in this form. And indeed, if you apply the chain rule and differentiate this form, you'll see that the PDE holds. So the important um, aspect there was we could factor, if you like, the PDE down to a dot product, turn into a directional derivative, and, and show that the directional derivative is zero. That then we, we could conclude that u is constant along certain curves that are tangential to this vector 2x comma 1. We could get the equation for those curves by solving some ODE and then form our general solution. Now in other videos I'll do more examples, uh, I'll derive the um, transport equation and I'll look at some more um, interesting problems. I hope you can join me for those videos.